All right, people, we are now into the research method section of this paper. The next three questions are all quite short, so we're going to go through all of those in this video. Okay, as is normally the case with the research method section, you are given a STEM first. So I've had a little read through it and just kind of highlighted the bits and pieces that I think are going to be useful. Okay, so you can have a look at that in your own time. And our first question, question number 10, is identify the type of experiment used in this study. Okay, and the answer to that, you can see straight away there, is A, it is a lab study. The reason it is a lab study is because the IV is being manipulated in a controlled environment. Okay. So moving swiftly on from that, we have question number 11 which is identify the operationalized dependent variable in this study. Okay, so we'll come back to that one in a minute. And question number 12 is explain why a histogram would not be a, an appropriate way of displaying the means shown in table number one. Okay. So let's have a look at what those answers are going to look like. Okay, so I already said that for question number 10, the answer was A, a lab study. Okay, so moving swiftly past that, the answer to question number 11 is running time in seconds. Okay, so the question asks for the operationalized dependent variable. So for anyone who can't remember what operationalized means, it means how they made it measurable. Okay, so the thing that they're measuring is the running time, the way that they are measuring it is in seconds. Okay, that's what makes it measurable. Okay, so your first mark comes from identifying running time, the second mark comes from identifying in seconds. And then finally, and just to finish off, we have the answer to question number 12. And the reason a histogram would not be appropriate is because you only use a histogram when you are using continuous data. Okay. However, the data that is being presented to us in the table is actually two separate conditions. And therefore, a bar chart would be the correct graphical display to use here. Okay. So again, one mark for identifying that you only use a histogram for continuous data and the second mark for identifying that the data that you have in front of you is not continuous, but rather two separate conditions. Okay, those were questions 10, 11 and 12. I'll see you in question 13.